Hello YouTube, and welcome to Farm Everything episode 15. I'm sorry about not uploading an episode last weekend, but I had a lot of problems in Minecraft world, <laughs> basically. In the world of Minecraft, yeah. First of all, I actually tried to record an episode last week, and what happened was Fraps decided not to record any sound. It's, it's actually my fault because I had the settings turned to that, but yeah. Also, last week I had Wither Battle. It was crazy. I actually have defeated the Wither now, spoiler, but I haven't uploaded the videos yet. There's going to be two more episodes of that because that's basically how it ended up splitting up and yes I did defeat the wither at the end <laughs> so don't worry it has a happy ending anyways um I don't know if I'll show you what I did in the last episode I think I'll show like some sort of super fast time lapse of what I did or what I try to do in episode 15 when I didn't record like any of my audio so I guess I'll roll that now here we go
Basically, let me explain what happened in that clip you just saw. I was trying to make a pumpkin melon farm. I don't remember. I think it was pumpkin farm. Yeah, I was using these pumpkin seeds. I was trying to make a pumpkin farm, but I could not get the pumpkins to grow for the life of me. They will not grow. As far as I can tell, this is the exact condition that the pumpkins need to grow. Next to water next to dirt. I originally wanted to do it. This would be ideal if I could get them to grow with a come on with a sticky piston above them like this so that when they grow they'll get automatically harvested but for some reason I cannot get them to grow. If I, if I place a which we call a dirt block right there. We'll harvest the block, basically. It'll push it into the water stream. Let me see if I actually have any pumpkins or anything. No, I don't have any pumpkins or melons I can demonstrate with. I'm pretty sure that when you do this, they get harvested. So, basically, get pushed into here, which is the water stream. If I demonstrate at this one, uh, what? There we go. So, what should happen is when I place a dirt block there, it's get pushed into the water stream, and it breaks, drops in the water and gets pushed into this chest here. Or it's pushed into this hopper which feeds it into the chest. So I was going to do that and it was all going to be all nice and stuff, but they won't grow. 
Like, what is this? I don't even... They just don't grow. They wouldn't even grow when I removed the sticky pistons. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> it works. <laughs> I was just about to be like, do you guys know if they can grow underneath blocks? Problem solved. It just, it just did it right there in front of me. That's awesome. So, <laughs> I guess I'm building that. <laughs> so yeah, I was, I was going to say for this episode, I would like go and build, you know, like a cactus farm or something and just let this project sit and see if it works. But, I mean, that's conclusive proof right there. This machine works. So yeah. So I'm, what I'm going to try to do is create, let me see, eight cells like that one. Because I can mirror another cell like that over there. I can... No, not, not eight cells. I want twelve cells. Yeah. Because I can mirror another one there. I can mirror them across this water channel. And then I can add another row on the other side of this water channel basically so we'll have four feeding into this channel and two feeding into that or some such arrangement what else did I do in the last episode did I, I like harvested and planted wheat I don't even remember what I did what all I did in that footage I remember that it was primarily trying to get pumpkins to grow and failing yeah, I didn't mention that another thing that happened this past week for me is I joined a Minecraft server on campus, and basically that server was plagued with all sorts of weird stuff. Yeah, I got a bunch of my stuff on that server stolen. Someone tried to encase the spawn point in bedrock. It was bad. <laughs> so I've left that server now. I might try to start my own server for people, for my friends. I actually already have a makeshift server that I run on a desktop back at home, but it's not especially made to run a Minecraft server. It's not really a gaming computer at all, so it's not the best. Come on. I might get a computer just to run Minecraft servers on it sometime. That might be a, a good thing to do. And while I was on the server, I kind of switched to using a bow as my primary weapon, partially because I had a super overpowered bow, but I think that even with a regular bow, it can be a pretty powerful weapon. Let me, let me test this out on some skellies. Die. Yeah, I can no longer, you know, kill them in a few hits because I don't have a super enchanted bow like I did on the server, but it's still a pretty good weapon. You can kill people from long range. Speaking of enchantments, I really would like to get an enchantment table soon on this world. Which means breeding and killing a bunch of these guys. Speaking of killing, let's kill. Come on. Get out, mobs. Dude, dude, get out of my house. Get out of my house. That's right. Get crushed. This is crazy. <laughs> okay, sleep, eat, grab my sword. <laughs> Craziness. Okay, I don't need to fight mobs on this world. That's right. I need to just stick to 
regular survival -y stuff. Mm. <laughs> 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 Let's just watch that guy for a while. <laughs> Jumps in the water channel because he's burning. And then gets pushed right off. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> he's not even trying to shoot me. Uh, uh -huh -huh. So, that's right, I have two dirt blocks in there. So, right. Uh, I think I'm gonna breed the cows, kill some cows, and then, you know... After that, I will do time lapse of doing stuff and things of building that pumpkin farm. And then I might still have time to do something else in this episode. Yep, I knew that was gonna break. So far down. I have quite a few cows right now actually, so I could probably kill off about half of them and then breed the rest. Theoretically, it's better to breed them and then kill them, but from experience I know that if I do that, I'm going to end up killing some of the baby cows and wasting wheat. So, I think it would be a better idea to just, you know, kill a bunch of them and then breed the rest afterwards. Just wait till I make a sword. You are most definitely not Captain Wiggles. There we go. Get out of my house. Yep. You two cows, you are gonna get out of my house. Or a bunch of you are going to be removed from my world, turned into steak and leather. Now if I had an enchantment table, I could use a looting sword to make this more efficient. But unfortunately the whole point of this is to get an enchantment table. So, circular reasoning for the win. Yep. Let me kill a couple more. There we go. Got 16 leather. But I actually need a a lot more than that, I think, to max out my enchantment table. Well, let's get to breeding. Make cow babies. Hey, you, you can come too. Join the cow baby making party. Yup. Now I need to get out of here. Of course there's an odd number. Whatever. I don't even care. Got a bunch of steak. I got a lot more steak than leather. Is that normal? I don't remember off the top of my head what the drop rate for cows is, but I think I'm going to start eating steak for now. Because I have a bunch. Eh. Yeah. So... As I was saying, I want to do a time lapse of building a fully automatic pumpkin farm. Oh, ew. Pumpkin ended up there, that's not satisfactory. Is there uh some sort of a like if you put a pumpkin there, let's run a test. Where does it end up? Ew. Why did, it, why did it go over there? Oh, it drops from that square. Drops from the square where the piston head is. Now, here I was thinking that it would get pushed out. No, it just gets dropped on that square. That could be a potential issue. Yeah. Well, at least we know the pumpkins can grow here now. What we don't know is how to get them to drop into a water channel. 
But I have an idea. It's kind of a crazy idea. Actually, it's not that crazy. Instead of flushing the pumpkin, let's turn that off for now. Instead of pushing the pumpkin, we remove the block underneath it. Wait, that doesn't even make the pumpkin drop. Well, we could remove the block underneath it and push it. That would require another piston, I suppose, but if we did that, then the pumpkin would probably drop downwards. Or, here's another idea. Where's that piece of redstone? Put that back. Nice. Give it right to me. Well, let's see. We do that. And what happens if we pulse the piston again? How do we do that? I don't even have a torch on me. I can make a lever. I what? Where did that second stick come from? Okay, I have a leather lever. If we... What? How, how did it push it backwards? That doesn't even make sense, bro. I don't even... <laughs> what happens if we use, like, a sticky piston there? Let's grab this sticky piston. For those of you who haven't seen the last episode, which is everyone, because I... Well, I mean, I showed it to you, but... Never mind. <laughs> because you didn't see the part earlier where I go over stuff. Ah, see that gets powered already. Why does that get powered already? Why do you have to make things difficult? See, what I'm thinking here is that maybe if I use a sticky piston instead of a regular piston, it will actually push it out better. But that means that I can't use the same design. So I might have to rearrange that piston or something. I don't even... I don't even... <clears throat> Sorry about the throat clearing and stuff. I thought my cold was over, but I don't know. I'm just feeling a little, a little throat cleary today. <laughs> That's not even close to being a word, but I don't care. Get out of here, crafting table. So what if I... Huh. Okay. So this piston is extended when there's a block there. But that doesn't... Oh, Here's an idea. What if I make this depower? What if I make it pull the pumpkin instead of pushing the pumpkin? If I do that... Wait. What? Doesn't pull the pumpkin? Okay. So much for that idea. That, that's weird. Weird stuff. It does not pull the pumpkin. At all. Like, you think it would either move the block or make it drop his item, but no, neither. It doesn't pull the pumpkin at all. I thought pumpkins were a little more normal than that. Whatever. Whatever, bro. So, how do we make this block power that piston? I think I may have the answer. How about we try using one of these things? These things. Haven't used any of these yet. But I think this may work. So, like, get rid of this whole thing. Go away. I do not need your services any longer. And then we. Really? We got a full inventory? And deposit some stuff. But how does this work? And if I break that... Ah, it still powers it. 
What don't I need? Eh, don't need gunpowder. I don't plan on blowing anything up, really. And I should go throw some stuff in chests. Let's see, animal. Where is that? Where is my... Do I not have an animal chest? Where do I put my leather? I guess I used a different organization scheme on this world than everywhere else. <laughs> it's been a little while since I've played this actually. So I'm a little bit... I'm a bit confused. Yeah, these past few weeks I just been haven't... haven't been feeling this series as much because I've been doing other Minecraft stuff. But... that is... how many books can that make? Uh, twelve? Twelve bookcases? I mean... That's probably enough to max out enchantment table. So that'd be another thing to do. But for right now... I really want to... Yep, yep. I want to get that pumpkin farm working. I should get rid of whatever other stuff I have on me. Like string... Uh, skeleton and zombie drops. Other drops. Skeletons drop bones. And... Let's head up... Head back over here. So the block of redstone powers the piston even in diagonal. Wait, what made that drop? Seriously, what made that drop? I want to know. Oh, that's right, I punched it out. <laughs> that's right. Never mind. Punching it out is not a very efficient automatic method, because it's not automatic at all. That. Okay, so this the idea of... where did the pumpkin go? Probably fell down over there, yeah. So... I don't even know if using sticky pistons here would work better. I should just test that out, actually. Okay, you need a pick to break those. It's good to know. Let's just throw dirt. Dirt. What? What? Okay. Throw some dirt there. Probably don't want to use dirt there in the final one, but this is just a test. And if I power it, um, lever? No, I'll just use the block of redstone. Because I don't know where my lever is. It's probably just sitting on the other side. Then it, it goes over the water channel. I can deal with that. Going over the water channel is not a big deal. Let's run a few more tests. Because I can block, put a, something on the other side to prevent it from going over. That's no big deal. Went in the water channel. Yeah, I think this will work. If we can somehow set it up to automatically harvest and stuff. You know what I mean? Okay, let's break this piston. I wonder what happens if I jump up and place a piston under me. Oh! Oh ho! That's actually pretty cool. It actually, you know, like pushes me up the other block. New efficient method of towering up? Probably not. <laughs> but it's kind of cool. Oh. So, that goes up there. Yeah, let's try that. That's probably a terrible idea. But, if I have it up there, and I want to bring the power down to here, let's just say that I place some dust on top of that block. Place a block right there. And then this somehow powered that block. 
Either I can make that block a block of redstone. Except that that might power it from either position. Probably better to just do the standard repeater type thing. Repeater deal. Where I have repeater torch and repeater up there. This build is becoming so messy. But at this point, it's really just a proof of concept. Come on. Come on. Go right there. You go right there. And bam. Wait, what? What? Oh, it's because it's a solid block. Let's get some glass up in here. I think that's the solution to that their problem just cause glass is nice and pretty and clear yep cause the piston extends and then the block that the piston extended powers the piston that's kind of an issue if we what why are you still powered oh it's budding itself that is an issue <laughs> that is a major issue actually <clears throat> unless we can put this on a clock man this is getting more and more complicated <laughs> oh how can I bring a power through that block without budding itself well I would need another repeater just just for the lols. Well, first food. I can keep my hunger up. Second, let's see let's just tower up here again. Let's see what happens if I use a block of redstone here. Does not power that block. That that might be my solution there. Thrown on our test. Yeah. Oh right, it's it's still budding itself. Sure. Well, using the block of redstone is cool, but why you bud yourself, piston? Grr. <laughs> Grr. That's all I have to say. Well, if I use the repeater on the other side, then I put a block there. Oh, that that cuts things. There. Now I have a staircase made of a few towers. And if I throw a repeater down there, should no longer bud, right? Wait. What? Why you still extended piston? Is it this redstone here? What happens if I destroy that redstone? Nope. Nope. Is the block of redstone butting that piston? Like, seriously. What? <laughs> Can that be happening? What? What? Let me test this out. I'll make another sticky piston. And see what is up with that. Make another sticky piston and another block of redstone. Okay, I need a slime ball. Actually, I have quite a few of those now. What? Inventory bugs. Maybe if I updated to the actual latest snapshot, there'd be fewer. I'm actually like three weeks old right now because they haven't introduced any new features really since like three weeks ago or whatever. That's why I haven't really been updating. But let's do a quick test and see what is up with this here sticky piston. 
Okay, put a block of redstone on top of it. If you power it, it sticks up. And the block of redstone buds the piston. That's that's just stupid. Why? Why Minecraft? <laughs> you can't you can't pull the piston back down unless you move the block of redstone. Well, so much for that idea. Then again, I just had a brilliant idea. At least, it might be brilliant. Let's get rid of all this dirt. Okay. It's brilliant, yet at the same time... Well, either I'm stupid because I didn't think of it yet, or I'm stupid because I don't realize why it doesn't work. What? Oh. <laughs> Locket Redstone is still budding the piston. You know the piston's face. What? I removed it. Okay, okay. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So. Does that work? Is that seriously all I need? Let's get rid of that. Ah, one tick pulse. Why? Why are you screwing me like that, Minecraft? Why does it have to be a one tick pulse? So let me see what happens there. Wait. I should have used glass, because then if I break it, it goes away. But. Nope, that doesn't work. Screw that. So. It powers it. Why is that a one tick pulse? That is seriously longer than and why is it oh it's butted by the Yeah There's too much budding going on. <sighs> Redstone. Gotta love it, but at the same time, it does annoying things sometimes. All I want to do, just make it fire that piston when a melon appears. No, oh, come on. Let me through the door. Uh. Man, this episode is probably going long already, and I'm just trying to figure this out. <laughs> That's the problem here, is that it's just all confusing and stuff and things. How can I power this sticky piston when that block comes? like powered I don't even know come on there has to be a way brainstorming <laughs> brainstorming does not work go away lever can't pick up the lever either this inventory space has to be cleared out <sighs> I've just been having a bad couple of weeks on this world. I don't know why. It's been kind of the same on my survival world too. In the wither battle. It's like... I can't really think unless it's a multiplayer world or a modded world. <laughs> I don't even know. On my regular worlds, I'm having all this trouble. And on my weird special worlds, I'm not having so much trouble. 
I don't understand. Makes no sense. So that <sighs> such such a simple problem yet I just can't think of a way that will actually solve it. Grr. Maybe this is getting to the point where I'm just trying anything that might possibly work. Maybe put that piston that way. Just throw a block of redstone on there just because. And... Jump up here. What? Oh, I do. Yeah, I guess I just placed one there. I don't need to. I need more dirt on me. <laughs> just to use this scaffolding and stuff. Collect that stuff. Okay. So, if I put redstone like that. Wow. I'm I'm actually reasonably sure that this will work. Yet I didn't think of this before. Really? That one tick pulse again. Screwing me over. At least this time I know how to fix it. Just throw down a repeater. Repeater. Get in my hotbar. There we go. Set it to two ticks. Problem solved. And I'll need to reset the system. I should do it. Now, if I just throw dirt in there. Bam. Bam. Just like that. Now was that so hard? Yes. Yes it was. <laughs> but, at long last, I have a functioning cell that should work on actual pumpkins. Speaking of actual pumpkins, I got why didn't those stack? The world may never know. Oh, wait, what, what? Okay, does it, it throws it into the farthest left slot that it can, even if that stack isn't, a, you know, that slot isn't stacked. Okay, you'd think it would do the same thing as shift clicking, but no, I guess not. What? Where did that even go? Oh. How how did it land right there? It was like over there, suddenly it's back over there. I don't even understand what is going on here. That one worked. If we don't get quite a hundred percent efficiency, that's no big deal. That one would have worked if there was a wall here. Um, no, let's just do that. Fell right in the water channel. Let's grab by the hopper. Let's try it again. Goes right in the water channel. Okay, this seems to work quite well. But this does mean I'll have to scale back to four cells per side because I need that. And wait. Can I still fit a mirror image in here? If not, I can always push them out farther. Can't can't I? Yeah, I pushed out one block farther that way. Then is there room to fit the mirror image in here? Let's see. This is unnecessary. But it sticks out. One, two, three, four. Past the torch. One, two, three, four. Four. Okay, I think I do need to move it one block farther along. It's no big deal. Well, it's kind of annoying because I need to just move all this stuff over, but in the grand scheme of things, it's no big deal. Did that give me multiple seats? I don't know. Whatever the case, I think I will now finally 
do a time lapse of duplicating this cell. Because this cell works. It actually works. Yep. And that's that's pretty much awesome. I'm gonna clear out this thing and you know put it in the fourth water channel. But I'm gonna do a time lapse. And when I'm done, you should have a very nice what's that? Eight cell pumpkin farm. So here we go. I just realized something. In this design, there is a block above the, the seed, the stalk. I don't think that pumpkins actually grow under those conditions. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure they don't. Which means that... Uh, why must there be no... <laughs> to do this oh man this seems like such a simple problem but yet it's so complicated I don't even know so I guess we can see if this produces anything with these three cells that 
I now think theoretically don't work. That sucks. But just for demonstration, I'll show you how cool it is when I have these working. Let's see. Draw on some pumpkins. Like assume that these actually do grow. Draw some pumpkins. You can't actually place pumpkins on farmland. Really? But they grow onto farmland and turn it into dirt. Grr. There we go. Just wash wash out all my stuff. Sure. Be that way. Okay. Place a couple pumpkins. A torch in my inventory. And BAM. Just like that. So if the pumpkins actually grew, grr, this would work beautifully. Actually, I have an idea. What? That's right. Okay. I have an idea. Maybe we could replace that block of redstone with a glass block. Then do a repeater through it. That way, no, that wouldn't even work. <sighs> I need something that's transparent, but that I can detect with redstone. Or I don't even know. Why does this problem have to be so difficult? Wait. I think I might be onto something here. I put uh, this is just a test. It's a test right here. If I throw some redstone and repeaters down here in just the right way, I think I might be able to get this thing to work. Okay. And I know it's night time, so there are going to be some mobs trying to kill me. But. Oh, let me. Pumpkins. Yeah, the mobs are around. I should go sleep, make them go away. <sighs> so many. So many technical issues that just plague every part of this process. Oh, hi, Enderman. I want your pearls, but I know it's not giving me because daytime just can teleport around like crazy. Yep. So, I was going to, yeah, throw down a pumpkin. Like, assume that it grows which I think it will in this arrangement and put a piston that way that's right piston faces towards the middle with a block of redstone on top of it and it doesn't matter that it powers that does it power that? it does like who needs torch that there? I don't need a torch there I have blocks of redstone that are just sitting there like awesomeness and there we go. <laughs> like awesomeness. And... Make that go away. There we go. So now... This, this works, right? But... Get out my face. Get out my face. It, what? Oh, that's right, because of the, the, the thing. That should work, though. Because it's powering itself, gives it a one tick pulse and stuff and things and science. Yeah. And grab pumpkins. Pumpkins. <sighs> Uh, so many technical problems. 
pretty sure this happens to everyone when they do redstone, even if they don't necessarily show it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now it does fire both at once, but that is no big deal, because the only way it can s could conceivably screw up is if they, like, both fired at the exact same time or something ridiculous like that. And that's not going to happen. You don't have two pumpkins growing at that the, the exact same time. And I don't, I don't even think that would screw it up. It doesn't matter if the pumpkins get harvested... Like... If the pumpkins... If the that block gets pushed by while the pumpkins are growing, I don't think that interferes with them at all. So this... Finally... Finally... Should be a working design took long enough like pretty sure this is like full episode length right here <laughs> and I just finally got figured out what I'm doing not to mention the whole last episode or what was going to be last episode that you just saw time lapsed that also I spent trying to figure this out Figuring out why the pumpkins weren't growing, how to do this technical issue, but finally, I believe that this, this will finally work with actual pumpkins that actually grow because it's actually awesome like that. Yep. How do I get up there? Might just throw a step there just so I can actually get up. There we go. And I need repeaters and redstone and inventory space is just annoying and stuff. And how did I get switched with carrots instead? Whatever, bro. Throw a delay on there. And that. This. This. Is what I'm talking about. It works. Pretty sure. Oh man, <laughs> the most aggravating redstone project ever, for me at least. I'm sure that there have been plenty of aggravating redstone projects that people have had, but this has been the most aggravating one for me, definitely. But I think I finally have it. And I think I will cut to time lapse again at like actually this time. Like actually build this whole thing. Though I've made progress. I got all the materials and stuff. Should be smooth sailing from here on out. So, here we go.
Okay, I do believe this farm is now fully functional. I've long last. <laughs> and I realized now that there is actually a much simpler way to go about that whole central part. Like, I don't need the blocks of redstone. I throw a torch in there. Make each of these instead of a block of redstone just a standard block. When they extend, that torch will power that. I think I'll do that to save on resources. Because blocks of redstone are pretty expensive. They're pretty cool, but you know, I don't want to spend quite that much redstone. I want to save it for other projects, you know? So, yep. Ran out of slabs. That's okay, I have a bunch more in my house. I can go grab them. And revamp all of these to use that design. That should be pretty simple exact. I have the exact number of torches that I need. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I got another stack. I have another 48 too, but I shouldn't need too many for this. This is an easy little change. And then I'm going to end off this episode. Because it's been going for quite a while now. <laughs> pretty sure. So, that's basically awesome that I now have this thing working. And once I find melon seeds, I can add those into this farm. I think that's why I'm only doing pumpkins now, is because I don't have any melon seeds. That'll be something that I'll have to find. And from what I've heard, and also from my experience, melon seeds only spawn inside abandoned mine shafts, so I'll need to find... Well, have I found one on this world? Can't even remember. <laughs> if I have, then I need to explore it more. But I don't I don't think I have, so I'll have to find one. Shouldn't be too hard, because they tend to be pretty common. But we'll just see, I guess. We'll see what's up with that. See if I can find one, find the melon seeds. Because I do need to farm melons. I mean, suit is it's called farm everything, man. I have to farm absolutely everything. <laughs> Even, you know, mushrooms. Which are going to be a pain to find. I have to find a mushroom biome. Oh, man. But, I now have fully operational automatic pumpkin farm. So these pumpkins just grow and when they grow they get automatically harvested and sent into here. I'm gonna have way more pumpkins than I need. I need them for like nothing. <laughs> well I need them for like pumpkin pie I guess. I could make pumpkin pie. What else do you need for pumpkin pie? I think you need eggs. But I could of course make an egg farm. Get out of the fence! Seriously, man, get out of my fence. Yeah, and it's definitely been long enough that I can breed the cows now. I think that they've actually all grown up the ones that I bred last time. So I'll get on that right now. Breed some cows. Uh, let me in, please. No shenanigans. And... Cow baby making party, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think, I think I got them all. Still not a number. Whatever, bro. Let me out the door. Or I go out the other door, because there aren't any cows near the other door. There we go. Plenty of cows. And, well, actually, before I end off the episode, I want to build an enchantment table. I think I'll put it 
underground in my old house because that's where I put everything, I guess. That's where things end up. And uh, let's see. Plant stuff, sugar cane. I think I might have enough sugar cane. Just maybe. Yeah, I should actually store my redstone as blocks. Because if you take part blocks, you get the redstone back. So that's an efficient way to store the redstone. If I had a lot of it, which I don't. Uh, let's throw those in the plants along with that. And grab out some sugar cane. Let's make three stacks of paper. Not that I really need a stack of books, but you know. Just do it. Make a bunch of books. I think I need more wood. Just like that. And we can make a bunch of bookshelves. Let's see how this pans out. Marvelous. Twelve bookshelves. And... Do I have obsidian? I don't. Hmm. Well, I can go mine some obsidian. I need a diamond pick. Cows, I presume? <laughs> I don't want any creepers coming in here or something like that. It is night time. Okay. I'm gonna go mine some obsidian. I'm gonna kill that cow. How, cow? How are you guys getting out? Here we go. Get in. Get in the fence. Fence. Gate. Get in it. Like now. Did that actually work? Did I, they all get in here. Except for that guy. That guy can die. It's no big deal. Sprint crit. Yep. Pretty sure that was a one hit. Cool. Bro. Now I have even more leather, don't I? Just one. Not enough to make much of a difference. And obsidian mining. With the water bucket this time, because I are smart. I think I'm going to do it in that... No, come on. I'm going to do it in... This... Place around, place around here. Enderman. <laughs> Calling it. It's Enderman. So I'm going to do it here. Take care of that lava as much as I can. My water bucket and mine some obsidian. I only need four pieces, so there's probably not even any point time lapsing this. Let's collect my four bits of obsidian. Then we can make our enchantment table. It will be all awesomeness and getting awesome enchantments. I'll make an XP farm at some point. Of course. So I have to farm XP, I have to farm everything. <laughs> I have to farm everything. I might make an Enderman XP farm, that's what I did on my survival world. That worked out pretty well. Though if I find any monster spawners on this world, I could definitely make one of those. Because there, there are things that spawner XP farms are good for, and there are things that Enderman XP farms are good for. Enderman XP farms produce monsters faster than spawner XP farms, but they also... You're friendly? Cool. They also don't produce as many. They only produce up to like 40 or something. I'm not sure exactly what the capacity is. But spawners, although they produce slower, they produce infinitely. So if you AFK next to 
a monster spawner overnight, you're going to get ridiculous amounts of monsters. Like, super lagging inducing amounts of monsters. <laughs> so you might not want to do it too long, but... Don't oh, bother. One of these pumpkins would have just despawn. One of the pumpkins that didn't make it into the water stream. But, it's really no big deal, I don't think. I think I'll probably end up with plenty of pumpkins overall. So I'm not too worried about what... Oh, I forgot to... Was I in the middle of something and then just forgot? I think that's what happened here. I was probably in the middle of changing these and just forgot. I'm gonna go do that. I wasn't sure when that was, because I don't think it was during the break that I just did, because I actually just, like, pretty recently, when I was realizing that I needed to get obsidian, that was a big break in recording for me. But, I don't think that was the one I forgot that. So I, I just must be forgetful. It's cool. Uh, leather, no, not leather, steak. Whatever the hell that stuff is. Anyways, here we go. Okay. So, there. Throw that. And over here. And instantly harvest both of them. They don't go into the water channel. Why don't they go into the water channel? Grr. Is that a difference between using a block of redstone and using this? I don't see why it would be. It would make a difference. It shouldn't. I don't think it should. There should not be a difference there. So maybe it's just a general problem with this design. That's somewhat annoying. Whatever. It's not like I actually need pumpkins. I just want this thing to work well, just... For the lols. The lols. Yeah. Anyways. Let's throw some redstone stuff back in there. I can throw a lever in there. Uh, I'll ask my torches. And leather. TH can go in there. Um, I need two diamonds. Uh, diamonds. There we go. Which I will use to make an enchantment table. And I can. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. So I have an enchantment table. I have 12 bookshelves. You know what? I do not think that is enough to max out the enchantment table, now that I think about it. Yeah, I think it, it'll get pretty close, but not quite. And I want to use my iron pick to save my diamond pick. I'll probably enchant that and the diamond pick and see if I can get something good with it. Uh, I should put it somewhere near the nether portal. And I should make it look pretty at some point. But for now, I think I'll just throw some cobble on the floor here. Let's move that out. And dig out some corners. Something like that. Now I know that those corner slots, if I put the table right here, put the table right there, those corner slots actually do help out with the table, but I'm not going to use them because 
they just like you don't see them I'm going to have more books there are more slots to put books than I need to have books in so I'm just going to fill in the slots that you can see and it'll look all nice and library-ish in here how oh, high of enchantments can I get? 24, 24, 24 okay so I'm getting pretty close if I filled in another three bookshelves on each side say then I would be completely maxed out. It would be all nice. Yeah, that the whole decor in here will have to change if I want to make it look nice. But honestly, this series isn't that much about the looks. It's a whole lot more about functionality. I want things that work and work well to give me lots of awesome stuff. And, I mean, the whole point of it is having it working awesome. I don't really care that much about all the stuff that I get. The stuff just enables me to build more awesome stuff. You know what I mean? And, let's see. One meal goes in there. It can go in there. Um, Gunpowder can go in there. Paper can go plant stuff. This comes from sugarcane. Uh, so can pumpkin seeds. Well, I think that I'm about finished for this episode. I finally completed the thing that I tried to start last week and failed. And I think it's working. It's working. Oh yeah, I got like four more pumpkins since I checked last time. It's working very nice, giving me lots and lots of pumpkins that I don't need. But once I get watermelon seeds, I can convert it to use watermelon stew. Probably change like half from watermelon. And then I can get lots of watermelons for eating and potion brewing. Not that I really need them for eating as much because I can use this to grow lots and lots of carrots. And carrots restore more health, so they're generally just more efficient. In any case, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. And I said that out of order, didn't I? I was... whatever. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel to see more videos. And thanks for watching again. I will see you in the next video. Bye.